Yeah, so in fact, I'll, I'll, I'll rewind to the year before John came. We, we were probably top two teams in the division. Uh, you know, we were battling with uh, Boston. And, you know, we ended up playing Boston in Boston. And Ryan Miller comes out of the net to play the puck and gets absolutely steamrolled by Luchik. Um, yeah. And at that time, we had nobody to answer, answer to that. I know Paul Goss had stepped up and did it. Um, and he was more than willing to do it. But it's just that – that moment there kind of exposed our team. Um, and then we kind of just got bullied around and we had a really good roster. And then fast forward to, we signed John to, to, to Buffalo there. And, and John knows, you know, his role, obviously he embraces it. And I remember our first game in Boston against Boston, John, I'm John's line mate. And he comes to me, he goes, Hey, uh, I don't know if Sean Thornton's going to fight me tonight, but you know, you can, you can hit him from behind and then tell him John's looking for him. And I was like, <laughs> I remember looking at him, I was like, there is zero chance you will be there fast enough by the time Sean Thornton's gloves are off and I'm getting killed. <laughs> and then, yeah, in the game, I didn't have to. They score off, and John uh, John got the better of that fight. And, yeah, it was a pretty pretty funny moment. I remember being like, there's zero chance I'm going to hit Sean Thornton from behind. <laughs> you, wow. you will not be there quick enough to save me. When you're when guys won't fight you, I used to tell that to my line mates. I'm like, just go start something so I can grab them during the scrum and we can fight. Because a lot of times guys will just wouldn't fight. 